late 50s about this thing out there in space because the astronomers were all watching it, and that was back when they weren't afraid to talk about it. It was in the science magazines. I mean, I had a subscription to, like, Popular Science and Health. It was on the front cover of the magazine one day in, like, 1961. And uh, I was really excited when I saw it because here's this giant red planet on the horizon uh, of the California coast and a humongous tidal wave coming in towards the coast and having grew up in the mountains of uh, the Sierras and this thing in the magazine, it said this tidal wave coming in was going to be at least three miles high. And I went and showed it to everybody in the house and they laughed and they said, look, it says right here, there's nothing to worry about. It won't be here for another 50 years. Hey, guess what? That 50 years has came and gone. And uh, this baby's out there in the sky. They've been watching it. I watched it. And I can tell you, this thing has got so much trash coming around it. You know how we live in a solar system? We've got nine planets and a big sun. This right. thing has got seven We're planets. about to have a solar system come through the middle of our solar system. This can't be good. Heavy rains across northern India have turned streets in at least two districts into rivers and sent torrents of mud down on houses. Rescue crews are searching through the debris left by flash floods that roared through a town in Uttarakhand state. Crews fear that some residents are still trapped.
the severe storm fueled powerful water spouts in the south of the island. Waves topped five meters and nearly 40 people were injured. Dozens of homes and businesses were damaged.
An ancient and lethal disease which has remained inactive for decades has awoken in Russia's Urals region. Anthrax, also known as Siberian Plague, has already killed a 12-year-old boy there. More than 90 other people are in hospital over fears they may also be infected. Unusually, warm weather is responsible for the outbreak, defrosting cells which have been laying dormant for decades. how much more one place can take. Some residents of Fort McMurray returning home after this long weekend are confronting a monstrous mess that flooding has left behind. Water that was so needed a few months ago arriving yesterday with a fury. 85 millimeters of rain fell in just two hours, turning parking lots into lakes. Flash floods devastating Elkett City, Maryland, killing two people. Oh Making for mayhem on Main Street in the Baltimore suburb. This just one of at least 120 water rescues after more than six inches of rain fell in just a few hours, causing the Patapsco River to quickly rise to 13 feet. 
engulfing everything in its path. There's people in the water! Watch as these people are left clinging on to their swept-away car. Oh my god! Oh my god! Cars carried by Saturday's historic flood littering Main Street. It's like a raging river. This neighborhood is historic. It's been here since the Revolutionary War in the 1700s. The same disastrous swamp system causing more flooding in New Jersey and severe thunderstorms in North Carolina. Five-year-old boy, hit by lightning, CGI progress. Hey, hey, look, look at the sky. 